it's up a little bit. So the first thing you need to do is to time map your clip. Uh, I have already done that, you see. You see it goes slower and faster. 15 likes, I'll do a separate video on how to time map. But hopefully you all know how to time map. But the second step you need to know is to drag this cursor to one frame before short of impact. So the short of impact is where this like dots right here appear. So we see that this is the first frame it appears. So one frame back. Control B or you can do use the split tool but it's easier with Control B. Then you need to just listen to the music. So so I think here would be good because here I have done some slow-mo. So we will split it here. So here it will be good with this dent thing where like a blob thingy pops up. So we need to search up in your open effect dent right here you don't need any plugins by the way it's in the default DaVinci Resolve plugins uh, press on it go to FX go here type to go to turn on the magnet do the first frame on the clip keyframe the strength make the size to maybe like 900 it not need to be exact but 900 keyframe this press on it write in dot 333 three, three. and you will see that fx is black not there then you can switch this edge behavior to black so now when we have done that go to the last frame of the clip here it is keyframe it go three frames back keyframe it and then just drag it to this side so it goes down and you start to see this type of effect so you can choose yourself what you think looks good but I think this looks pretty good though. Yeah, this looks pr really, really good. So what I would like to do on here is to make the saturation down to zero and make only the grass red. So how to do that is press on this, go to the color tab, press on this, Press Alt L right here. And now I would like that it's the saturation is normal at first, then it turns more like red. So how to do that is you go here, keyframe correct the one, drag this a little bit back there, take it maybe to here, I think it would be good. No luck here. Where you see that the black bars start to appearing. It's not just started, but nearly just started. Drag the side duration down to zero, and you see that it. Yeah, you won't see it, but it will be black and white. But as you see, we have done and disappeared. Then you have done everything right. And if it's black white here, then you've done everything right. So you can go to. Zero two now. Press on it. Press on this tool down here and press on this and make sure that it is on qualifier. Then you need to press on the green. So as you see, it's starting to get saturated in black and white and only to green looks but as we see we want all the grass to look so we can press and find but as you see we can't find it so then we need to go to this tool and drag out this so like all the green is in sight like here then make this this you suddenly need to take it all the way here and this not always all the way because as you see, if you take the all the way, 
here we see the color, but we don't want that, so... Just in this clip, this looks good. So now we want our grass to turn red. So what we will to do is to drag the cursor to the first frame and we want it to be uh, get red in the same order as it gets black and white. So the first thing I suggest is to find what sort of color you want. So to do that just drag the cursor where you want but not inside of this. Go to this and then you can play around for every clip is different. So that turn it up more orange, that turn it to orange, that turn it up to red. So it's different to every clip but for me it worked with this guy. You can do it blue or anything you want but for me it turned it out like this. So we will fast double press on it, press ctrl c to copy the number then we will go back here keyframe the character 2 make this 1 and then go to the keyframe right here delete all the numbers right in ctrl v so 8.30 comes in and now as you see it turns red but as we see the hair is a little bit red for some of you you will not like it for some of you maybe you don't care but I want to do it a little bit more precise so then we need to play around with this duration for this this looks pretty good we lost a little bit that but that's no difference because I don't think anyone will look that way but, but then, as you see, you maybe want to make a red little laser around here so you see the black bars and pay attention to the red. So to do that, you need to make a copy of this. You press on it, drag, take, press Alt and drag it up a layer like this. Right click on it, press a new compound clip. Search up uni.exo. You will need the uni plugins, universe plugins to make this effect, but I will leave a link in the description to it. So drag it onto here. As you see, you see a blue, but we don't want blue. So we will do here, and here you will see color presets changes to warm. But me personally, I don't know what you think. But I don't like the yellow down here, so I will customize it. So in the color, I will make it more like I will do it solid red, so it's fully red. So as you see, the timer will be pretty laggy because it's a really hard effect to process. But as you see, it's finished. So now we need to make a little effect on this. So I will not do uh, such a massive like effect but you can do it the same or you can just find another video on YouTube to do it. So, but as I said, to more like precise tutorial on how to do time remapping and more like effects, I want 50 likes on this video and I will make that happen. What you will need to do is just search up in the open effects right wise oh, race and it should pop up this isn't is in the DaVinci Resolve plugins too so you won't need any plugins so just take it drag it onto this press on it go to effect as I said this won't be as like precise but it's a small little effect I like when it's red because the effect was just red I'll make the length maybe like this red or short I want to be red at first fully keyframe that then go maybe here and I'll take it all with this so. So personally, that looks pretty good.
Yeah, it's pretty laggy, but as you see, it looks pretty good. And yeah, drop a like and drop a sub on my channel. I post Fortnite monitors, highlights, I edit for clients. DM me on Twitter if interested, by the way. And yeah, 15 likes for a specialized video on how to time a map and do uh, maybe sound effects and FX more precise than that. This was more like how to make this little small FX right here. This was just an add on it. But hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like, drop a sub. Below, turn it up a little bit.